Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes the star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the romantic Victor Herbert operetta, Naughty Marietta, starring Gordon McRae and his guest star, Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, in the title role of Naughty Marietta, you will hear the lovely metropolitan opera soprano, Nadine Connor. And I play the role of Captain Dick Warrington, whose band of soldiers fought for country and for honor in New Orleans in the year 1780. The story of Marietta is the story of a girl, a soldier of fortune, and of an unfinished melody. until you find the man who can sing the other half of that melody you heard in your dream. Oh, but where will I find the man who will complete the melody? A ship of brides sails on the morrow for New Orleans. Forget that you're an Italian noblewoman. Go down to that ship and pay one of the girls to give you her place on the bride ship. Somewhere across the world, you will find the man you seek. But guard your identity... Let no one know who you are. I will go. I'll do it. And so Marietta took her place on the bride ship and sailed for New Orleans. On the day the ship landed, my men and I marched into town to see the governor and tell him that we had received orders from the king of France to capture a pirate who was terrifying the city. A pirate named Bra Peak. We were in good spirits at the prospect of an adventure, and we marched into town singing. Tram, tram, tramp along the highway. Tram, tram, tramp the road is free. Blazing trails along the byway. Louis de Bois are we. Tram, tram, tramp, now clear the roadway. Boom, 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 the world is free. With Panthers and Kentucks, Virginians and Kentucks, Captain Dixon in Pantry, Captain Dixon in Pantry. Panthers and Kentucks 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 and as I turned to leave the square, I heard someone singing. And I looked back and saw for the first time Marietta. She had perched herself on the edge of the fountain, as though she had every right in the world to be there. Oh, 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 oh
Just a minute, young lady. Yes, Mr. Hill? You're one of the girls from the bride ship, aren't you? Oh, I may be, and then, on the other hand, I may not. Well, you have no business in the square. You should be down on the ship letting some man choose you for a wife. Are you coming down to the bride ship? Me? <laughs> I should say not. I value my freedom too much. Well, so do I. That's why I'm here and not there. I have run away. Oh, please help me. Help? Help me. I'm going to take you right to the governor and turn you over to him. You had no right to take a place in the ship under false pretenses. Monsieur, if I stayed at home in Italy, they were going to marry me to a fat old man with a beard down to his knees. <laughs> if, if you turn me over to the governor, then that would be my fate. And I would kill myself. Well, you're quite a little spitfire, aren't you? I may be, monsieur. And then, again, I may not. <laughs> It's good to see you back again. Well, 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 Rodolfo. How are things with you? Oh, business is slow, Captain Warrington. Since my son left me, I got no singer. How am I to draw crowds to my marionette show without a singer? Tell him I am a singer. Hmm? Oh, please, I beg of you. The old man's beard is below his knees. It's almost down to his ankles. Well, I shall probably regret this the rest of my life. Uh, Rodolfo, this girl is a singer. Would you take care of her for a while as a favor to me? Would you sing, signorina? Oh, yes. Oh, I would like to hear you. All right. Uh, can you truth play the Italian speech song? Of course we can play it. Un momento, I give you an intro to it. One, two, a go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Fiorina. Oh, thank you, monsieur. Rodolfo, who is your lovely new singer? Oh, she's my daughter, Signor Etienne. Yeah, you should not have kept her hidden so long. She's very beautiful. Ah, oh, good day, Captain Warrington. Good day, Etienne. You might advise your men, Captain. The governor has just received a communication from the King of France, offering 10,000 francs for the return of Marietta, Countess Deltena, who disguised herself as a casquette girl and ran away. I'm going on to the bride ship now and look for her. Is that so? Uh, Rodolfo, if you don't mind, I shall be calling on your lovely daughter later. Goodbye, monsieur. Rodolfo, take the girl away before there's more trouble. Si. Come, signorina. Goodbye, Marietta. Au revoir, monsieur. Oh, monsieur, just a moment. Yes? Uh, that song, where did you hear it? Why, I heard you singing it just a little while ago. Oh, sing it for me, monsieur, please. Oh, I, I don't even know it. I... Oh, please, Captain Warrington. It means everything in the world to me. Well, if it's that important... Oh, it is. I'll please. do my best. idea how to finish it. I'm sorry to monsieur. I hope desperately that you would. to the second act of Naughty Marietta in just a moment. But first, within the next few days, a train will pull out of New York and start on a tour which will cover some 8,500 miles, involving carefully scheduled movements over many different railroads. It will be a 12-car special carrying the eminent conductor Arturo Toscanini and the National Broadcasting Company Symphony Orchestra on a concert tour of 20 American cities. While on tour, Maestro Toscanini and his famed orchestra will be meeting a rigorous schedule. They must arrive on time, rested and prepared to play a strenuous program. Dress clothing, many bulky instruments, and an extensive library must accompany the symphony orchestra and be ready for immediate use. To meet these exacting travel requirements, the orchestra naturally chose a safe, dependable railroad. Their special train will provide full living quarters for the 125 musicians, librarians, managers, and others who will make the nation's spanning tour. They will have a veritable hotel on wheels with comfortable sleeping accommodations, rehearsal space, lounge, and dining cars. This train is typical of many specials operated for organizations on tour or to conventions, to public events, and on excursions, to almost anywhere people want to go. But you don't have to charter a special train to get comfortable, dependable transportation on the railroad. For whether you travel alone or with your family, and whether you take a short trip or across the continent, there are swift, modern passenger trains to serve you. So when you plan your vacation trip this year, plan to travel by train. For in every phase of railroading, continued investment is being made in new equipment, new facilities, all to the end that rail travel will continue to be the safest, most comfortable, most dependable form of transportation in the world. <laughs> And now here is the second act of Naughty Marietta, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest, Nadine Connor. Yes, the story of Marietta is the story of a girl and of an unfinished melody. I kept telling myself the girl was no concern of mine and tried to convince myself that the only reason I kept going to see Rodolfo's marionette show was to be sure she wasn't being any trouble to Rodolfo. 
But as time passed, I found myself dreaming of Marietta more and more. And at night, I'd walk along the levee in the moonlight with the old New Orleans love songs whispering in my ears. had been with Rodolfo several weeks when the gayest event of the New Orleans social season took place, the masquerade ball. I wanted to take Marietta, but she had already promised to go with Etienne. However, at the ball, I did have a dance with her. Well, you're looking very beautiful tonight, Marietta. Thank you, Captain Warrington. But... I was sure you had eyes for no one's beauty except Monsieur Etienne's beautiful slave girl, Ada. Who told you that, Etienne? <laughs> what does it matter? Who told me? Well, you seem different tonight. What's wrong with you, Captain Warrington? Perhaps the same thing that's wrong with you, Mademoiselle. Yes, perhaps. I have a very strange feeling I never felt before. Is a kind of a grind of depression. My heart's acting strangely. It feels rather so. At least it gives me the impression. My pulses leap madly without any cause. Believe me, I'm telling.
then you do love someone. Yes, Vic. It's true. Listen! Here you are! Here you are! According to the long-established custom of the Quadroon Ball, any man who wishes to buy, sell, or exchange his favorite slave may take advantage of the Cordon Bleu. Oh, come! Come, who will buy, sell, or exchange? Is no one here brave enough? Well, then. I will open the sale with the most beautiful slave in New Orleans. Ada! Five hundred francs! Five hundred francs, my friends. I bid five hundred francs for the most beautiful slave in New Orleans. A thousand francs! Captain Warrington. A thousand francs. Come, that is better. A thousand francs. Five hundred! Fifteen hundred francs. Eighteen hundred! Two thousand! Come! Come, the game improves. Two thousand is bid for La Ballada. Captain Warrington, if you bid again, I shall never speak to you as long as I live. I can't let A.G. and Sulla to that man. Twenty-two hundred! Twenty-two hundred. I bid twenty-two hundred. Going, going... Three thousand. Ah, take care. I am through. Three thousand francs. Sold to Captain Richard Warrington for three thousand francs. Captain Richard Warrington, who does not believe in slaves, has purchased for himself the most beautiful girl in New Orleans. You are to be complimented, monsieur. Ade is indeed beautiful. Monsieur Etienne, monsieur Etienne. Yes, Marietta. You asked for my hand when you thought I was only Marietta, the daughter of Rudolfo. Now I confess to you that I am the Contessa Marietta d'Altena, and I tell you that I will be happy to be your wife. Marietta. Mademoiselle, you've made me the happiest man in New Orleans. Come. We shall be wed tonight. Whatever you wish, monsieur. My master. I am not your master, Ada. I bought you to set you free. Oui. I, a free woman. Then I will act like one. Monsieur, would you prevent this wedding? Oh, yes. But how can I? On Etienne's right arm, you will find his name. His name? Bra Pique. Bra Pique the pirate. Bra Pique. Thank you, Ada. You have repaid me a thousand times over. Who is it? Oh, Rodolfo. I didn't know you were here at the ball. I just came now when I heard what had happened. Marietta, you are making a big mistake. Why do you say that, Rodolfo? Captain Dick has set Ada free. That's the only reason he bought her, so he could give her a freedom. He loves you. No. No, he doesn't love me, Rodolfo. I used to hope that he would. But I I have known for some time that it is quite hopeless. I am going to marry Etienne. Well, in any case, you cannot marry Etienne. He's already in jail. In jail? What do you mean? He is the pirate, Brappi. No. Captain Dick and his men captured him a little while ago. Dick captured him? Si. Oh, be kind to him, Marietta. He does love you. Listen. It's my melody. He knows its meaning. He knows. Darling, my heart taught me to finish to your song. Will you marry me now? I must marry you. For it was foretold that when I found a man who could complete my song, I would find happiness and fulfill my destiny. Here will I say, and love you always.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Nadine Connor will be back in just a moment. And our thanks to the other members of our cast, Jeanette Nolan and Willard Waterman, for their fine performances tonight. Naughty Marietta with book and lyrics by Rita Johnson Young and music by Victor Herbert was dramatized for radio by Gene Holloway. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. Remember that whenever you ship by rail, your money is working in four different ways. It pays for safe, dependable transportation. It helps ensure better and more economical service in the years ahead. It promotes business for industry and jobs for people in all parts of the country. And it means taxes that help pay for the education of your children and the general public welfare. Yes, for the country and for you, it's good business to do business with the railroads. And now here again is lovely Nadine Connor. Well, Nadine, it's always a thrill singing duets with you, especially one as beautiful as Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life. And we have another beautiful duet to look forward to week after next, Gordon. The message of the violet. Well, that's right. You'll be back with us again on the 24th to do the Prince of Pilsen, won't you? So I hear. <laughs> and we'll do anything with you next week, Gordon. Well, Nadine, the little lady who made such a hit on Broadway playing the leading role in Brigadoon a few seasons ago, Miss Marion Bell. And we're going to do Madame Sherry. Oh, and with that wonderful song, Every Little Movement Has a Meaning All Its Own. I'll be listening, Gordon. So long, Nadine. See you on the 24th. <laughs> Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so, until next week, goodbye. <laughs> Naughty Marietta was presented by Special Arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae is currently starring in Warner Brothers' Technicolor musical hit, The Daughter of Rosie O'Grady. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Lubon, and our music prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. And now keep tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. Oh, oh, oh.